Hello Geeks! How are you doing today? Welcome to the video series on a state machine using Boost State Chart. And this is part 2. In this particular video, we will learn how to use meta states. So before we go ahead into the coding, let's understand what is meant by meta states. So meta state is a state where we have multiple inner states. What does that mean? Let's look. Consider our previous examples where we had two states. One is a happy state, another is the sad state. And we move forward between happy state to sad state and vice versa based on some events. But let's go back to our happy state once again. We are in a happy state but there are chances that there are different kind of happiness. I may be in an extremely happy state or I may be in a somewhat happy state. So this, this is the situation where we have happy state but there are a different kind of happiness. So the state which has inner state to define its characteristics more properly is called meta state. Not only that, between inner states like extremely happy state to somewhat happy state, we can move around between these two just like we move around between two outer state like happy state to sad state. Similarly, we can move around between extremely happy state to somewhat happy state again based on some events. So that is all about meta states. Let's go ahead and see the code. So let's see how we can create meta states using Boost State Chart Library. Before proceeding on to this particular video, I'll highly recommend seeing my two previous video on the same topic, part 0 and part 1. This, the code I'm going to write over here is an extension of the same and it will make more sense if you go ahead and see those videos before seeing this one. Okay, so let's start. First, let me do a forward declaration of some of the states which we are going to create in this particular uh, example. So I'll create a happy state. I'll create a sad state. And two new state called extreme extremely happy state and somewhat happy state so i just did the forward declaration so that i can use it i'll define it now so let me first define my state machine so i'll say my struct state machine derived from state machine this state machine first state will be happy state this is my state machine which starts with happy state now let me define happy state i'll define happy state now it's derived from simple state it's a CRTP, so it will take the name of the same class the second parameter will be the state machine which it belongs to. So I am defining a happy state which belongs to a state machine called a state machine. Okay, But if this happy state will be having inner state, I need to define which is the first inner state that will be coming into picture when the happy state instantiated. That will be extremely happy state. Okay, so let me put some constructor over here so that I know where am I in happy state. Okay, similarly I'll create a sad state. Since uh, sad state will not be having any inner state so we don't need to provide what will be the first inner state and let me just give a constructor which displays in sad state okay now let me create the inner states now i'll create a extremely happy state this is created similar to how we create normal state this will also be derived from simple state. It will also take similar CRTP parameter, but the only difference is that 
here instead of a state machine it will take the name of the state which it belongs to i'll say it belongs to happy state so if i just go ahead and type the constructor i'll say in namely happy state similarly let me create somewhat happy state i'll just copy paste to make it fast somewhat happy state again it's part of happy state and the constructor okay now let me go ahead and create the state machine and run it okay so let me go ahead and run it and you can see that uh, this in happy state is coming first in that happy state i'm in extremely happy state right now okay i have initiated the state machine the first state that comes with a state machine is called happy state but the happy state comes with the first inner state called extremely happy state okay now let's talk about transition uh, from extremely happy state to somewhat happy state let me just create a event called change state okay, i'm creating an event and let me process this event so i'll say state machine dot process event i'll say change state event okay now i have to put an event handler for this process event so that it can be handled in extremely happy state so i go back to my extremely happy state i create an event handler of transition in case i receive change state i should i should move to somewhat happy state that's it okay now if i go ahead and run my code you will see that i was in happy state an extremely happy state and this event is triggered i move to somewhat happy state what if i put the same uh, transition in somewhat happy state so that if change state come i should rather move to extremely happy state and let me trigger this again event again so when i go ahead and run it you will see that i am coming back to extremely happy state after being in somewhat happy state so this is the transition between inner state okay now let me just get rid of it so as to save some space now from the inner event we can transition to different outer state i can say that when this transition happen uh, when this event happens i should rather move to sad state remember sad state is not part of inner states of happy state it's a different state but let's see what happened i am able to successfully transfer myself to sad state my state machine to sad state so from the outer state or from one of the inner state you can transition to another state which is a totally different state and not part of your inner state so there is no limitation that inner state will transition only to another inner state it can transition to anywhere else that's one very important part now the second part is that what if the same event handler is there in um, this uh, base state as well as within the inner state uh, let me create one more uh, state called test state uh, i'll create uh, let me create test state okay now see what has happened i want that i have written a event handler in the main happy state that if the event change state come you move to test state one of the inner state also waiting for same event but it says that move to side state okay so what will happen in this particular case since i am doing it only once let me do it like this so in this particular case the inner state will get preference so if our event is handled in inner state it will be caught there and executed there that's why in this case we move to side state but if a event is not handled in the inner state it will be handled in the container state so here you will see you see that here we move to test state because this is this getting executed so the sequence is like this 
the event will be first checked with all the inner states if it is if there is a handler it will be handled there if there is no handler it will go and check the handler in main state so that's the way we create meta states using boost state chart i hope i was able to explain how you can use it okay that's all about this particular video thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe thank you